Hey guys, welcome back to Just Carve Rob. And what are we carving today, Rob? Well, we're going to carve another wood spirit on the other side of this piece of cedar. We're starting out with the Dremel. Oh, already broke it. Okay, we're going to start over. Here we go. Okay, welcome back to Just Carve Rob, guys. And today we're carving a wood spirit on the other side of the wood spirit and a piece of 2x6 cedar. And we have a tile cutting burr in here. And remember, guys, the hardest face to carve is on a flat piece of wood. Why are you carving it on a, a flat piece of wood? Why are you making your life difficult, Rob? Well, we have a little project coming up where we got to carve a wood spirit on a big piece of flat, thin wood. So, we're doing some practicing. I think I almost got it nailed down, so I think uh, real soon here we'll be carving a wood spirit on a big, flat piece of walnut. Black walnut. Okay, so we are using the Dremel 4000, and we have changed over to the Sabretooth Green Elongated Flame Burr, or Football Burr. I'm not quite sure of what they call it, uh, but I'm calling it an Elongated Flame Burr. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot more pointier than the uh, cuts all ones. So for this uh, thing we're doing here, we need a, a more pointy burr. Pointy, pointy. More pointy burr. Because we're practicing. Right? Right. Right, Spike? Right. Right, Pamela Lee? Right. Right, Jordy Johnson over at Carving Fusion. Mark DeMaker over at uh, your channel there. Uh, Dan Carprio, C-A-R-P-I-O. BAP over in Ireland at I Can Carp. Ben Studio on the Lake. Sean Brooks at Pin on Fire and Carving. All those guys. Claire. Larry Dibb. You can check out all their work over at Carving Fusion, World of Wood Carvers. Original. Uh, Facebook page. Head on over there and check those guys out. They're pretty pretty uh, awesome. Uh, Larry Barnett. Uh, Chris Snow has a YouTube channel. Therapy49. Check those guys out. They're also uh, the World of Wood Carvers. Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers original. Administrators. The young Sung Heroes of the Facebook page, yeah. They keep uh, the page, they keep that page nice and clean, no spam, all that good stuff. A lot of great artists over there, so go check them out. All right, all right, all right, Spark, Spark Willow. All right. Rock of Ages USA. Chainsaw carving dude. Over there, uh, I think he's in Tennessee, I think. Tennessee or Kentucky, one of the two. Go check him out. You see, uh, I'm thinking about it, what I'm going to do there. I, I really want to get that. I could leave it just like this, leave it real flat like this. But, uh... I want to get that nose to pop out, so we're going to go in a little bit deeper. We're going to end up going about an inch and a little bit into this piece of wood. Uh, so that's a little more than halfway. Um, because this is such a big chunk of wood, I don't want to go more than halfway because then when I feather it out uh, to kind of get rid of the carve in, the carve into the wood, I got to feather out the edges. Uh, I don't want it to look like the face fell into a hole. Or maybe I do. I don't know. Do you know? Somebody needs to tell me. So we're cutting the nose in deeper. I'm starting off. I always start off with my nose much, much bigger than I want it. It's always easier to take it down than it is to try putting it back on. Okay. This is, uh, we're running at two times the speed. 
It's going to be a long video, probably like 20 minutes. It took me probably uh, two and a half hours to carve this guy. And get them all shaped in there. Trying to sink that nose down a little bit. Uh, I'm going to show you one eye. The whole willy one eye here. I carved both eyes, but I'm, I'm only going to show one. Snow, snow, snow. We're getting lake effect snow here in Michigan. And always fun. Uh, but that big snowstorm that swung through the south missed us. And I'm happy about that. I guess uh, old Sean down there, he got it. He got it down there, down south. Have a sip of iced tea. So we've just been busy, busy, busy around here. Taking care of business every day. Yeah, that's what we've been doing. Taking care of business. Nah. Uh, I don't know. I just haven't been uh, haven't been carving that much. Usually by the time I get done doing doing what I do, I, I'm pretty beat. So I try sneaking out here after dinner. Sometimes I do. Most of the last two weeks, three weeks, I have not made it out here. It's just been uh, kind of depressed, kind of depressing around here. You know, all you see is snow. Snow, snow, more snow. And crap to fix. It's the way it's going. So, it gets you get in a rut. You know what I'm saying? You get in a rut after a while. So, uh, yeah. So, I got to find something to do. Something new and exciting. The problem when you get in a rut, your creativity suffers. Yep. So, you just don't feel like uh, doing anything. You don't feel like carving or... Uh, any of that stuff. So, we ended up carving this guy, trying to dig our way out of the rut. Okay, you see we got his face carved in. Uh, that is not the center line. Okay, that's going to be my lower eyelid. Or not, well, it's going to be the lower part of the eye, like the back of the eye. You can see on that other eye over there. I drew that in the same way. We're coming from the corner of the inside by the nose up. And we're using a diamond ball burr. Diamond sphere right here. And we're going to push deep down into those corners and then let it come up. Right? So we're going to give it that round, that roundness that an eye has. If you look at it from the side. So, yep, we're going to push down hard into them corners. You can see I'm showing you there how deep I pushed in and pushed down on the corner into the eye. We're using the uh, micro motor here. And I'm showing you that I'm pushing down deep into the corner there. And now we're doing the eyeball itself. And we're going to keep that roundness going. So we're going to push hard down into those corners. With the ball burr, and then we'll come back with a needle burr or a football burr, and we will uh, bring the foot, the uh, you know, the corners of the eyes down into more of a point. Okay, so that's what we did. We pushed hard. Now we're just touching the center, but we're going deep. There we go. We're going deeper into the corners of the eyes again. And uh, my eyeball, I always start off with the uh, eyeball itself, small. Because you can always open it up. And if you don't open it up the same as the other eye, as long as they're the same length across. And that's what I'm showing you here. I got the cal the, the dividers out. See, they're the same width. Now, if you don't want to open that eye up more, you can always leave it like that and make it look like he's got one a squinty eye. You know, he's like he's giving you the old snake eye. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing. We're tracing in that bottom eyelid or bottom bag to the eye. And we're going to go deep into the corner again. Because remember, that bottom one's got to be lower than the top one. Uh, where it meets at the eyelid. And now we're rounding that over. Yep, we're taking, we're going in deep on the, each corner. And then leaving it raised up 
in the middle. So it's giving it that round shape. That roundness to the eye. I hope this helps. This is the way I found. It's the easiest way that I do the eyes for me. Uh, might not be the easiest way for you. So make sure you check out other eye videos on the tube. On the Yuba tube. Yuba tube. Okay. Um, this is what actually works the best for me. It might be wrong. Uh, it might be uh, harder. I don't know for uh, some people. But it. Works the best for me. Um, I know it work. It would work good too if I uh, went ahead and put the eyeball in first, and then came back and put the uh, eyelids in. I don't know. In my brain, the way my brain is telling me to do it is to make the roundness of the eyelid and and the lower uh, bag before I make the eyeball. But you'll see, if we go back and mess around with that eyeball, uh, pushing it in, rounding it over, all that good stuff. Okay, we have the Cutsaw Gold Taper Burr. Fine. Gold Fine Taper Burr. Okay, that's what that is. Cutsaw Gold Fine Taper Burr. And I really need to bring the sides of my forehead in, or the sides of my head where your temple is. Need to bring them in tighter, and I think that's what I'm doing there. I think my face is too straight. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think his face is too straight? Do you think the forehead needs to be skinnier, where so like where your temples would be? I don't know. Um, that's the problem with working with flat wood or a flat piece of wood is getting that the size of the head in deeper. Okay, so now we have a diamond football burr in there. And I'm cutting up under the eyelid. Up under the eyelid. Not a lot, but enough to give it that little bit of a shadow there. See? See how when we're cutting that, it's putting a shadow in? And we'll do the same thing to the bottom. We're uh, just coming along. the. Uh, we got it at a 45 degree angle going down. We're not cutting super deep, but we're, we're uh, opening that eye up to make it the same size as the other one. Now, you don't have to. You can leave it like that and make it squinty looking. Like he's giving the old snake eye. Okay, see I'm cutting that eye in. Why? Uh, put, I'm put, forcing the corners of that eye down and then rounding it over. Uh, I don't know if I'm explaining it all that great, but that's what I'm doing. And now that's going to be the bag. I could go back through and give it a lower eyelid, but... You know, this is a practice guy, so it really doesn't matter. Just give me a practice with the shallow, low, low relief carving and eyes. That's what it's doing. And now we have the Cutsaw Gold Flame Burr. See? And remember, if you want to save 5% on your next Cutsaw order, I will leave you a link in the description below. Use uh, my code CARROB in all capital letters, and I will leave a link to Cuts All in the description below. Use my link and save yourself 5%. All right? All right. And now what I'm doing is I'm pushing the uh, roundness of the eyeball back down there through the, I guess, the bag under the eye. That's one thing I've been having problems with is getting my eyes pushed in deep enough to give it enough cheek. But uh, I've been watching uh, a couple uh, YouTube guys that's really good with faces and uh, how to get that those cheeks to pop out. Uh, and one way is by bringing, after you get down where your cheek is, bring that in. Don't leave that puffed out so big like I did there. And it will uh, narrow the face and pop the cheek out, like the side of your face. But there again, because we're carving shallow, we really can't get that kind of depth on this, on this piece. So there's his eyeballs. A little side view. See how deep he is in there. Now his nose is actually the same level as the top of the wood. Okay? It's the same level as the top of the wood. And... We're going to be putting the, the uh, beard hairs in. we got to get his lower lip cut in. So this guy, the face is actually pretty shallow on this guy. 
like I said, at the deepest points alongside his face is probably like an inch deep. Okay, because that's how long my roto zip cutter is. And when I, I put that down against the uh, flat plane of the wood, the collet of my Dremel was bottomed out. So I know the sides are at least an inch deep. And this is only a, this is a not true dimensional lumber. It's not exactly two inches thick. It's like an inch and three quarters or an inch and a half. Instead of it being that actually six inches, it's like five and a half. You know, the dimensional lumber that you buy at your lumber store. That's what it's coming down to. They call it a two by six, but it's not actually two and a half by, or two by six. This is uh, like an inch and a half by five and a half, I think is what it actually is. And now we're cutting the lower lip in. And we're using the Cutsaw Gold Burr again to uh, get that lip cut in there. We're going to op open his mouth a little bit. So we'll plunge in there and get that cut in to, to uh, define the lower, delineate, Ben, Ben, poof! We're going to delineate the lower lip in by digging in up underneath the mustachio, which is a mighty big mustache he has there. A mighty, miss, a mighty big mustache indeed. Yes. So, a blind guy goes into a bar. And uh, after a couple minutes, he goes to the bartender. Uh, she and goes, hey, bartender. And she comes over and goes, uh, what can I do for you, sir? He goes, hey, uh, do you want to hear a blonde joke? And she said, well, uh, just to let you know, uh, I'm blonde. And uh, behind you is a bodybuilder. And she's blonde. And over by the door of the bouncer, she's blonde. And the uh, big biker chick behind you, she's blonde. So do you really want to tell a blonde joke? And the old blind guy goes, well, no. I guess I don't want to have to explain the joke four times. But a boom Oh, ho, ho. Well, I can tell those kind of jokes because I'm blonde too. See? <laughs> I get it. He didn't want to have to explain it four times. Uh-oh. So, now we're cutting that the lip in. We're rounding it over. We have the uh, diamond football burr in there. Little diamond football burr. And we're taking that out. And now we're going to the inverted cone burr. It's a triangle, but it's upside down. Okay? At the, the triangle point part actually points back towards the shaft on the burr. Okay, and all I did with that was go in there and flatten out the uh, bottom of the mouth. And now we have our, another, there again, another invo inverted uh, burr. This is a aluminum cutting burr that we're cutting the beer hairs in with. Yep. Uh, I had somebody ask me if they can get the 332nd collet for a Dremel, so they can use the smaller burrs, the, the, the smaller shaft burrs, and yes, you can. You can get them on Amazon. Uh, just go to uh, replacement collets for a Dremel, and you can get them in either aluminum or brass. I actually like the brass ones better. You'll get uh, 1 8 to 3 30 seconds and one with no hole, okay? And what you do with that is if you get something like uh, they sell the 1.5, which is a, uh, a 1 16th burr. You can take a 1 16th drill bit with the collet not in the Dremel. Do not tighten it down and drill that hole for a 1 16th. Put it in your, in your Dremel and then you can use those little tiny 1 16th inch diameter dental burrs in your Dremel. But they do sell the 332nd collet, the 1 8 inch collet, and the blank collet, I would call it a blank collet, for the Dremel, okay? And I have bought them before on Amazon. They make them in aluminum and brass. Uh, I think the brass ones last a lot longer because brass is harder than aluminum. Okay, so now we're putting in some side hairs there. 
along the side of the face. There again, uh, because this is flat, I can't get in there deep to put the side hairs in. And I think I think my hairs are, uh, I don't know, they need to be deeper maybe. I don't know. Maybe they just need a good wood burn. Maybe they get need to be burnt. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's what they need. Okay, so we're taking that out. And we have the ball burr, uh, spear burr, cuts all silver, coarse, spear burr, didn't like that. So we're going back with the cuts all coarse flame burr, not the extreme, this is the silver. And we're cutting his bugger shooters in, we're cutting the snot holes in there. Okay, we're getting the nostrils cut in. All in all, I guess he ain't that bad for being carved on a flat piece of wood. It's much easier, guys, just to get yourself something round, like a stick or a log, to cut the face in. Um, and if I was using a flat piece of wood, uh, I would probably cut the whole thing down on an angle. You know what I'm saying? Instead of having this, the flat sides on it like I have on this guy. Because remember, I'm going to be doing this in a much larger piece of wood. So I don't have the option to uh, bevel where the nose is. Split, take your wood, divide it in half, then split the nose. And then bevel it with a grinder or a chainsaw or something. To give it more of a triangle shape on the front. Uh, so that you can get that nose popped out further than the rest of the face. All right, guys, that's it for this one. So share, subscribe, like. I hope you liked the eye, the little bit of an eye tutorial, and we will catch you guys on the next one. All right? All right. Be awesome. Carve something awesome, and we will catch you on the next one. Stay safe. I hope you're all doing well. Bye-bye.